Hello, hello, it's Naveen with Naveen's Cuisine. Happy Sunday. I'm in the mood for some eggplant, so maybe, just maybe, I'll make some eggplant parmigiana. So I've got some vegetable oil going on here, and I will crack open two eggs. Add a little bit of water, make an egg wash. some Italian breadcrumbs unless you want to make your own progress so it's not bad got two eggplants try to pick it up nice and firm then we're gonna take the top and the bottom off I like to take the peel off too some people like it with the peel. I don't. Sometimes it's a little tough to chew. I've got two large. So you take a slice off the bottom, a slice off the top, that way it doesn't move around. And then you can hurt yourself with a knife. This way it's stable on the cutting board. And my cat is harassing me. Go away, Dickens, go away, go away, Dickens. There he is, see, you see Dickens? Go away. <laughs> He's a very loving cat. My cats keep me company in the kitchen. Then we're going to slice them about, let's see, half an inch. slice both sides in the egg wash and then into the breadcrumbs make sure both sides are covered and there it goes one by one All your slices are washed, dipped, and breaded. Until both sides are nice and brown, a nice golden brown, and you can tell that the inside is cooked. You just keep doing it until it's all done. If you need to add a little bit of breadcrumbs, you may do that. Now that I fried all the breaded eggplant, 
and then I put some paper towels to absorb the oil because we want as least oil possible. I'm gonna get my sauce ready, and I do have a recipe, a marinara sauce recipe, on my YouTube channel. But today I'm using one of my second favorites after uh, homemade Victoria white linen. It's just like homemade. It's amazing. So I'm going to layer my eggplant in there. It's such a nice casserole to have. And once you have it all done, you can stick it in the freezer, you can stick it in the fridge. And the next day, if you have company, it's ready to go in the oven. It takes a bit of work a little bit, but it's worth it. I got some shredded mozzarella. Can't wait for getting on all nice and baked and bubbly and ready to go. And I got some Parmesan. Then we repeat until all the layers of eggplant are done. Eggplants are kind of spongy, so they do retain a lot of oil. So it's good to squeeze it out when you're taking it out of the pan with tongs and also placing paper towels helps a lot. Another layer of, sorry, another layer of tomato sauce first. Hello, that's okay. An extra layer of cheese won't kill nobody. Then we're gonna put the mozzarella. I got the oven going on at 350 right now. I'll put it in for about 45 minutes. Everything is pretty much cooked. It just needs to melt together. And voila! 